Hi, in this video, we are going to simplify this problem, which is actually a mixture of different roots. To do this, we are going to apply one of the properties of indices, which states that the nth roots of a exponent m is the same as a exponent m times 1 over n, right, which is actually the same as a exponent m divided by n. So I'm going to apply this property to simplify this problem. And so to do this, let me first of all start with this root. Now, remember that this is a square root. Anytime you have a root side where there is no number on the root, it means that it is a square root. So meaning that this is 2. What you have here is 2. So to apply that, the square root of x exponent 10 is given by x exponent 10 times 1 on 2, which is x exponent 5. So I'm going to reduce this whole thing because now I have catered for, I have catered for this. So I'm going to reduce this whole thing. So by reducing that, I'm going to get my fifth root, then the fourth root, then the third root. Now, the second root is not going to come because we've already simplified it, and that is the x exponent 5, right? So to do that again, to move further, I'm also going to pick this and then apply the property of indices. So, cubic root of x exponent 5, according to the property, gives us x exponent 5 times 1 on 3, which is x exponent 5 on 3. So I'm going to reduce this whole thing because now I've catered for the cubic root. So now this whole thing now becomes fifth root of fourth root of x exponent 5 on 3 because I've catered for this. So once again, once again, I'm going to reduce this whole thing by fo focusing on this. So, the fourth root of x exponent 5 on 3, according to the property, gives us x exponent 5 on 3 times 1 on 4, which gives us x exponent 5 on 12 because 3 times 3 times 4 gives us 12. So now I'm going to reduce this whole thing again because now I've catered for the cubic root of x exponent, the fourth root of x exponent 5 on 3. So now this now becomes the fifth root of x exponent 5 on 12 and this is the same as that is i'm applying this property so i'm going to get x exponent 5 on 12 times 1 on 5 and i end up getting x exponent this 5 cancels that so I'll be left with 1 on 12. Therefore, the simplified form of 
what we have here is this which is x exponent 1 on 12. thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel